Hi everybody and welcome back to Idiots in Cars. I really got the mad scientist hair going today. Uh, let's start off with number 19. Remember to turn on your lights when entering tunnels. All right, here we are, approaching a tunnel. I mean, in fairness, if it's like a short tunnel and your car doesn't have automatic headlights or something, it could be like difficult to remember to go flick it on for just that split second before exiting the tunnel. Or you could just like slow motion, just crash into the side of the tunnel somehow. Despite the car filming this, definitely like illuminating enough of the tunnel that this probably shouldn't have happened. I mean, sometimes you forget to turn on your headlights like in the city because there's enough ambient lighting that you may not actually realize. See cars without headlights on at night all the time in LA. But you know, generally when it gets to the point of, I can't actually see anything, you think, oh yeah, my car has this nifty feature, headlights. <laughs> I should use those <laughs> rather than, oh, it's dark. I can't see. Let me just keep going. Keep going. Oh, it's still pretty dark. Oh, that's the wall. What we all hope to see when idiots use the bus lane. I don't know if this is a bus doing it on purpose, but he's going very slow and he's created a queue behind him for all those private cars and motorcycles. <laughs> Dang, we don't have these like isolated bus lanes really over here. Oh, he's just like, nope. You ain't getting out, dude. It's a sting operation. What? Are they, they're stopping everybody and they're pulling them all over and citing every single one of them. Oh my God. <laughs> I know this is a bus lane, but I didn't know it's a violation to drive here. Cause you see, I thought this was a bus. This two wheeled motor vehicle. It's a, I thought it was a bus. I wasn't really clear about the, what qualified as, as bus and not bus, and this is faster. So I just thought that I would drive here and not in the not bus lane, because that would be really silly. Also, you know, my pickup truck also thought it might qualify as a bus. It's a bus for the stuff that I'm carrying in the back. I'm bussing it around. Who's wrong here? Got T-boned by a car making a right turn while I was making a left turn. Other driver proceeded to leave the scene after I told her I was on the phone with 911. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Gotta be accident investigator. Okay, so we're doing left turn, we're doing left turn, and then we're... See, here, this one is all, like, if, if someone is making a right, and I'm trying to make the left, right? Like, we can coexist here. It's a multi-lane road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that we're cool. If I left turn into the closest lane, you're gonna right turn into your closest lane and we can live in harmony, right? This, this plays out a lot. And I'm always worried though, of the person making the right turn in this exact situation being like, you know, what, I'm gonna cruise out into the very center of the road <laughs> or the very far edge. And then this happens. This didn't need to happen. I'm not an accident investigator. I don't know how insurance plays this out, but it really didn't need to happen. You both could have coexisted if, if she just stayed in the lane closest to her. And that, that upsets me, but it also terrifies me at the same time. Speaking of people leaving the scene, I think since my last Idiots in Cars video, that was when somebody sideswiped my car while it was parked and I was getting dinner with my dad. And, you know, stationary objects, those are very difficult to avoid, right? Sometimes they just come out of nowhere and just run into your car. And so that happened. Clearly my parked car, like, it just jumped out. Fortunately, I was able to get it fixed without insurance for less than my deductible. It was a light graze, paint protection film. Oh, what a lifesaver, man, what a lifesaver. Please don't sleep and drive. Are, are we, oh, this isn't like, a, this isn't an autopilot situation. This is a, a fell asleep at the wheel situation. And I like how they're both sleeping. I guess that's the only real way that this plays out though, is if, if you have a passenger, they would have to have been like asleep too. Otherwise they'd probably be like, yeah, you're kind of kind of going off the road. Oh, you're, you're, wake the frick up! So you could grab the wheel and, you know, take, take over for a moment before catastrophes happen. Don't, don't, I, I like how don't sleep and drive is put on there as if it's like, some people might have not realized. Some people might just be like, surely my, my car, not a self-driving one, will, will take over if I fall asleep, right? This has existed for a long time now, right? Okay. <laughs> 
think like we have to tell people not to sleep and drive. I don't think most people like make the conscious decision. Like, I think I'm just going to sleep now. I think it, it just happens inadvertently. <laughs> like, please, please don't do this. Thank you. Tailgating. How close is too close? I, I can't tell if they're flashing their brights or this is just a camera thing. Okay. I mean, they're being, they're being kind of a, they're being kind of a dick. If you are in the passing lane though, and you're holding up traffic, you should like, at this point, I get it. You are trying to prove, okay, you're, you're moving out, you're moving over, but not really moving over. You kind of like, you slightly moved over, but you didn't really move over at the same time. I don't know, like person with the dash cam, you kind of suck. You kind of suck a little bit. I'm glad that no, no contact was made here, but it's not an ego contest, right? Even if that person is being dumb and going way faster than they should, you should still just, there's multiple lanes on this highway. Just, you're in the passing lane. Just move over and let them by. We don't need to clash egos here. They can crash down the road maybe if they're gonna do that. You don't need to be the one who's like, challenging them though it's just, it's you know it's not an ego contest it's how it's how crashes can happen right anyway not saying that they're doing anything right but it's just like there's no need to be confrontational like nobody wins it's sad that like the person who's also being dumb like no repercussions they get to go about their life and continue being a dick but it's the way it goes it was me the idiot in my own car did you drive onto the beach and you got stuck on the beach? Why did you drive onto the beach in your Miata? Of all the of all the cars that you could have been like, you know, I, sh I I'm gonna give this a try. Why did you do it in your Miata? <laughs> it's it's uh that was a bad choice. That was a bad choice, and um well, you won't do it again. You've learned from your mistakes. Hopefully, clearly judging by the photos, that there is a lot of driving happening here but probably by like, you know, bigger all-wheel drive, drive trucks and stuff like that. But hey, you know, you get a nice seat on the beach. Most people don't get nice seats, but, you know, big bolstered, nice padding and all that. So you got a, you got a great seat to sit in. What happens when you go 90 miles an hour down the 405 and everyone else is going 60? Wow, a local video to LA on the 405? The more impressive question, how did they get up to 90 on the 405? <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, okay, oh, there, the, oh, it is not good that they took someone else out. I have only ever once seen somebody on the highway, I'm sure it happens all the time, but only ever once have I witnessed myself, someone going so egregiously fast that I, I was like, you are about to kill someone in the next five seconds. Fortunately, it didn't happen, but yeah, I don't know. It's so, I, 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 there are people, and of course it's like the BMW stereotype, BMW in this clip, but whatever. Anyway, uh, and it was a BMW that was doing it when I saw the person, oh geez. <laughs> oh God. Uh, anyway, but like, there, people probably, some people probably like pride themselves on, I'm a really good driver because I can like weave through traffic going really quickly. But it's not, it's, you're getting lucky, basically. There's too many variables to control, like, a Formula One driver, they could, if they were trying to zoom extremely fast and weave through traffic, they could get into a crash too, because somebody else does something, because they don't expect the Formula One driver to be zooming down the highway at 50 miles an hour faster than them, right? Just too many variables out of your control. It's not about how good of a driver you are in that case. But any, anyway, there, there we go. I don't know what was going through his head. Yeah, roundabouts are not for everyone. All right, here we go. Are we approaching the roundabout? Where's the roundabout? Oh, they're in the roundabout. It's kind of hard to, t oh. They just did a little, just a little uh, cheeky little lane change there. They were like, you know, I can just move on over and, and it's it turns into one lane. Forget about that little lane marker that's going down the middle. I can just kind of go all over the road in this uh, particular situation. I mean, they kind of, they, they knew to go into the roundabout. It's just they didn't know how to get eggs at the roundabout. We have seen a lot of videos where people like just stop. They like don't know what to do and then they'll start going the wrong way around the roundabout. <laughs> but 
but in this case, they they had it going well at first, and then forgot about lanes or checking blind spots or anything like that. Claimed a thousand percent, I reversed into them. That's my favorite defense for, you know, rear-ending someone, is they actually reversed into me. You know, we were sitting at a place... <laughs> we're sitting at a, at a stoplight where, you know, we were just waiting to go forward, but for some inexplicable reason, officer, they threw the car into reverse, and they just, out of nowhere, they just right into me. I can't even believe it. <laughs> And then for the situation where, you know, you're the person in the in a car and someone actually reversed into you, you're like, no, I swear to God, they actually, I don't know why they reversed into me. I got no idea. And if you don't have the dash cam, then the officer would be like, okay, sure, definitely. Yeah, they definitely reversed into you. Totally believable. This is why have a dash cam, you know? It, it can save you. Unless your car is in, it's parked and it's, you know, the battery ran out because it's parked and it operates off the car battery and the car shut off and, and you don't see who sideswiped your car or you don't see your car that's parked jump into the road and sideswipe the car driving down the road, you know? Never let them know your next move. Oh, are they gonna make, they're gonna make a U-turn? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Come on, Volkswagen, you should have known they were going for the Yui. Why else would you make a right turn onto a side street if not to get the proper berth for the for the poor turning radius? You should have known they have a poor turning radius. What else were they supposed to do? Although, truly, I do think cars would benefit from like a U-turn indicator, right? Because sometimes you just like you blinker left. And you're like, but people aren't really gonna know that I'm making a full U-turn. And if they knew I was making a full U-turn, like it might be a helpful thing for people to be aware of. I don't know, then that's like a whole other light that has to be designed and approved by government agencies and then manufacture. That'd be a whole thing, it's never gonna happen. But I just think to myself, like, could be helpful sometimes. But also, what the heck are you doing? This is the driver's fourth DUI. Cop said he just happened to be driving by. They're just gonna go into every part. Okay. How did that even? Oh, and then they're just gonna just gonna keep going. And then, are they gonna stop? I think they're only stopping by virtue of they've basically gotten their car stuck in marshland or something like that. Otherwise, they were just gonna keep going. And see, it's like the people whose cars were left out there, they probably just never end up finding the dude. Although maybe he's just on a first name basis with all the local cops if this is his fourth DUI. How about don't do that? How about don't do that? Well, it's not. According to him, it's my fault. Hold on, description. So as soon as I came out of the car, the guy started yelling at me about how I should have seen the car ahead of him and stopped. So I should have stopped because people need to merge into my lane. Okay, let's see how this plays out. All right, he's going into the, th he's going in, he's going in. And rippy dippy. I don't think it's your fault, but I also think it was avoidable, right? Again, it's like, if someone is gonna do something stupid, as much as it's like annoying to let them win, it's better to just let them win and everyone keeps going about their day without their cars being damaged, right? And then that's so much time wasted out of your life sorting the whole situation out instead of just being like, okay, you suck, but whatever, go ahead. That's how I that's how I view driving. And I feel like I'll, sometimes things that I see on this subreddit could be saved if it was just like, you know what, they suck, but I'm not gonna let it I'm not gonna let it bother me. They can go on and, and just keep sucking in perpetuity, but at least my car isn't damaged, right? So that's how I, that's how I treat these sort of situations. Cause you had the ability to, to stop, but you were just like, he's not gonna be an idiot, but it's just like, let him be an idiot, you know? Let people, let people keep being idiots as unfortunate as it, as it is. Even if you're, you're the best, you can't stop all the idiots. It's just, yeah, I gave up a long time ago. <laughs> The lady stood in front of my girlfriend's car, preventing us from leaving the concert so her family could go first. We planned to let them go ahead of us, but she decided to do this. <laughs> God, I just, I hate, I hate 
the idea of being stuck. Is she sitting on your car, by the way? Like, if she's sitting on your car, that is a no-no. And I won't, can't, like, what can you, what can you do? You can't, like, go push her off your car. I don't know, because then, then you're going to get in trouble, right? What do you, mm. but the idea, you don't, don't sit on somebody else's car. If that's what she's doing, I can't tell. It's like hard to get the depth perception on a two dimensional video, but like may, hopefully she's just standing in front. But if she's sitting, then it's a big, uh-uh, don't do that. But also I just, just sitting in the, in the inching forward line of cars, leaving some big massive event. I just hate it. I hate it. And, and it's one of the many reasons that I just don't go to things like this. I don't, I, I hate, like, this sucks. I don't wanna be here. I wanna be comfortable. I wanna be in my bed. I wanna be sitting here at my computer doing work or something. Not in a in this clogged, awful, terrible thing where it's gonna take me two hours to exit a parking lot. I hate it. And someone sits on my car. More likely someone just dings the door because it's tight parking. Ugh. I know ride sharing, yada, yada, but also then that can be a mess, like the line of people waiting to pit. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Wet paint, I don't care. Wet paint, do not pass. <laughs> uh, you know, I would think though, on the part of the company contracted to do this, or if it's the government doing it directly, I would think that they would know of all of all people that people are bad at driving. And inevitably, if they are painting live with, with cars behind and it's not like coned off in some way, someone's gonna immediately run over the paint. Maybe this is an extreme case of like they're they're just only driving on the line. It's like it's like they're trying to spite us and spite their own car. But somebody's gonna do it. If, if you have cars behind you and the paint is unprotected, it's gonna happen. When being an idiot comes back to bite you in the end. Proof that karma exists. All right, the double yellow pass. We've rooming. Uh, what? Okay. Oh. Dang. I thought they were actually like, kinda gonna make a sick drift into that turn, but they didn't quite do it. I thought, dude, I thought this was just like a, First, first person reenactment, <laughs> the, the meme with the car, like, you know, you have the forward era and then you have the side and the car's like drifting onto the side ramp. Thought we were getting a full on recreation and just whiffed it. I'm assuming he was trying to, it doesn't look like a brake check. A brake check is very unlikely to rotate your car, right? Especially with anti-lock brakes and stuff like that. I have to imagine he was, he was like, Oh shoot, I was supposed to make a right turn here. Whoop! And then it didn't work out. Like, yeah, great job. Great job doing the double yellow pass and be like, oh, that's my exit. Whoops. This is embarrassing. I should get out of here as fast as I, oh no, I'm upside down. Driver merges onto, into my car while his wife gives me the middle finger. Blames me for not yielding. Alrighty. Oh, we got, we got the person. Who's who's going? They're they're merging in. Okay, let's go. Did you did you make contact? I can't tell if contact was made. <laughs> oh yeah, contact. They're pulling over. See, it's another one of those situations where it's just like it's not worth. It's it's very clear that they are they're they're going in right. They're gun. They're doing it. They're doing it and playing the game of chicken. It's just not worth it. Yeah, they suck. They're an idiot. But we can also just like, we can also just back off and like not have the not have the ego clash. Like, no, it's my turn. And then while well, now we, now we're both wasting our day. Even if your day deserves to be wasted, I don't want my day to be wasted. Everyone's saying that whoever submitted this dash cam lessons is in the wrong on Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna assume it's be, it's we got another situation where the person's in the passing lane, right? And they're they're just they're chilling, they're cruising along. They're like, nah, this my passing lane, right? I was already going ten over. Wasn't gonna move for this trip. Mmm, I don't like that. 
Don't like that. Like, I get it. They're doing something they're not supposed to. But it's not, you're not law enforcement. It's not your job. It's not... It's not, it's not your job to enforce it. If they're going faster than you, it's not that It's not that hard to just move, move out of the lane, right? And I know that it's like a thing that here in LA, people do like, the passing lane is not used for passing. The passing lane is just used for driving. But you know, in a lot of places where they actually abide by it. <laughs> just like, you, see, it's an ego thing. It's an ego thing. Like, no, I'm not gonna let him buy. A couple other cars saw the jerk as well and helped block him in. What? Guys. Guys. Like, I get it. You're going 78. It says it says on the dash cam. But the, now are you, you're going to speed up to like... Did you just speed up to like try to... Now you're going 85. Bro, come on, dude. Did you're trying to like pit maneuver the guy. Yeah, it's just... It's just yeah, that's not good. I mean, you're all bad. Why are there so many, you're all bad, but like, he's speeding up, clearly, and then, what was that? What are you doing? Was he trying to, like, pit maneuver the car? Hey, ay ay It's not, it's not worth, it's not worth, it just isn't. Ah, oh, everybody sucks, dude. Why would anyone try and pull this stunt? Oh, dear. <laughs> With the washing machine, the <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's some good karma. <laughs> Doesn't even have it strapped down. Oh, dude. Come on. Wait, why are you why are you trying to pass people and go vroom when you have a massive thing that's just sloshing around in the back of your pickup truck? If anything, you should be going so slow. You want to have very minimal changes in your velocity. Like you want to be braking gracefully. You want to be accelerating lightly. You want to be taking turns slowly. Like this is the extreme version of me with the unsecured grocery bag next to me in the car. And I'm just like, we're gonna take it slow. We don't need this toppling over and groceries scattering all over the place. This guy's got a washing machine. He's just like, speed racer time. What an idiot, bro. Oh, that's the best karma I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow, that Porsche came out of nowhere. Oh, no, I've seen this clip on Instagram while I'm pooping. Yeah, oh, God. And is, it is, a, is it a blue 4.0 as well? No, it's just a GT3. It's not got the it's not got the right uprights on the wing for that. I was gonna be like, dude, if it's an RS 4.0 997, then you just oh ugh, no, and it'd be like a PTS one as well. Oh god, but also, yeah, I mean, not not the fault, not the fault of the Porsche, but at the same time, like that car, you. If you see someone, and this is from first-hand experience, if I am driving a car that I really, really do not want to get damaged, and I see someone who is making somewhat questionable decisions, I'm trying to stay, like, as far away as possible. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna, you know what? You go ahead. Clearly, you're not making good driving decisions. I don't want to be near you. Just, just go. Just go in front of me. I don't care if you're in the wrong, just go in front of me, right? Like they, like the Porsche, it was basically stopped. And then it was like, yeah, I'll just go. And then, oh. I know you're thinking there's no way, there's no way they're just gonna go into me, right? There's no way they're, they just went into me. And right, even if it's their fault, you lose. When you're, when you've got the car that you really care about, even if it's not your fault, you lost, you lost, you lose. You lose. And that, oh man, oh man. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta, it's like, you have to take, you have to be defensive to like the next level and just like, if people are gonna be dumb, that's great. Let him be dumb. Let him be, I don't wanna be anywhere near you. You know what, go go way ahead of me. And, and continue being super dumb way ahead of me. I got no ego, I don't want you touching my car. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the last month of Idiots and Cars. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.